in this video lecture we would be looking into some reactions of formaldehyde right that are different from other aldehydes or reactions those are not given by other aldehydes right so mostly the reactions that we are doing here are polymerization reactions right so these are polymerization reactions of formaldehyde right hcho we also write it as ch2o right so the first reaction that we would be looking into is when an aqueous solution of formaldehyde in the previous lecture we have seen the aqueous solution of formaldehyde is formalin so when aqueous solution of formaldehyde is heated to dryness right when heated to dryness means you take aqueous solution of formaldehyde you heat it till all water evaporates the formaldehyde which is present in the aqueous solution will polymerize to give you to give you a polymer known as para formaldehyde and we know that by the very basic definition of polymer that in polymer various molecules combine right to give you a bigger molecule right so here we will be looking into the formation of para formaldehyde right so this is in h CHO, right? This is an aqueous solution, which we call as formalin, right? When this aqueous solution of formaldehyde, which is formalin, is evaporated to dryness, what you will get is CH2O whole n dot H2O. This is your, we call it as para. formaldehyde right this para formaldehyde is a white solid right and if you heat it you will get back formaldehyde right i hope this is clear right and remember that you have one water molecule so this is hydrous form of formaldehyde right hydrous polymer now if i take aqueous solution of formaldehyde right which is formalin and add dilute sulfuric acid to it a little different reaction will take place right like when you add concentrated sorry not uh, dilute sulfuric acid we will add concentrated sulfuric acid to the solution of formalin in that case the polymer that will get formed is polyoxymethylene right so which has more number of that poly the difference between this polymer is that here n would be equal to 6 to 50 right in that case you have more number of more number of molecules of formaldehyde that will undergo polymerization to give you your polyoxymethylene right so here nch uh n H C H O, right? In presence of concentrated, this is again an aqueous solution, formalin. In presence of, or if you add little concentrated sulfuric acid to it, it will form C H two O whole n dot two H two O. Remember, this is two H two O, right? And here, n is greater than hundred, right? And you call it as. polyoxymethylene right which is again a white solid right which is again a white solid right and uh, this is also this white solid is insoluble in water right and it regenerates formaldehyde on heating Like this white solid, remember this is insoluble in water, right? And if you heat this polyoxy methylene, you will get formaldehyde back, right? So this is these two reactions, right? Where molecules of 
formaldehyde will undergo polymerization to give you these two polymers para formaldehyde and polyoxymethylene remember these two are white solids they differ in the number of they differ in the number of molecules that are polymerizing here n is 6 to 50 here n is greater than 100 right now let's look into reaction if formaldehyde gas is allowed to stand at room temperature then three molecules of para formaldehyde i'm sorry three molecules of formaldehyde will polymerize right to give you trioxane or we call it as meta formaldehyde right now if formaldehyde gas right is allowed to stand at room temperature right then three molecules of formaldehyde will undergo polymerization to give you a compound a polymer known as trioxane right so let me just show you that right this is one formaldehyde molecule right. Right. Notice you have three molecules of formaldehyde right, at room temperature. Three of these polymerize to give you trioxane. Right. I hope this is clear. This is your trioxane. This Polymer is your trioxane or meta formaldehyde. Right? This is important reaction. Now this is again trioxane is a white solid and it has a melting point of 334 Kelvin. Right? This is white solid like others and its melting point is 334 kelvins right and same as others uh, this can be used to regenerate formaldehyde like here this can be used to regenerate formaldehyde this can be used to regenerate formaldehyde if you heat it it will give you back formaldehyde similarly this trioxane firstly here if you notice these are hydrous forms you have water molecules Right? in loose combination to it like water of crystallization here you have you have you don't have any water molecule because here you allowed only gas to polymerize so this is basically your anhydrous form anhydrous polymer basically but these are not anhydrous these are hydrous because we have taken water solution formally right now the other reaction is two more important reactions when a dilute aqueous solution of formaldehyde right containing weak alkali is allowed to stand then when a dilute aqueous solution right is allowed to stand with a dilute alkali in it with an alkali in it then various molecules of formaldehyde will undergo aldol condensation to form mixture of sugars called as formos right please just remember all these things right and these sugars are probably uh, like i said this in that reaction your idol condensation has taken place so i'll just show you that and this is an exception this is an exception because uh, normally aldol condensation are given by those aldehydes that contains your um, your uh, your alpha hydrogens right but in formaldehyde we have no alpha hydrogen right so this is a this is a exception case because under under some specific conditions formaldehyde can be made to undergo aldol condensation right so this is the this is the way how we make formaldehyde to undergo aldol condensation so remember formaldehyde which does not contain alpha hydrogen can be made to undergo aldol condensation right and this is done in the presence of dilute alkali because we know that we need dilute alkali right for aldol condensation 
Right, so let me just show you this via reaction. Like this. Right? These are various molecules of formaldehyde. Right? Six molecules, let's say one, two, three, four, six molecules of formaldehyde will undergo pentol condensation. Right, to form mixture of sugars called as formos. Right, this in presence of dilute alkali. Right, when formaldehyde with dilute alkali is allowed to stand, all these six molecules of formaldehyde will undergo aldol condensation. In aldol condensation, this hydrogen will go to this this hydrogen will go to this oxygen like it happens in aldol condensation we have studied that before while doing lecture on aldol condensation right it will form sugars right and this reaction takes place in presence of weak alkali like calcium hydroxide this is a weak alkali right and the product will look like this Right. Notice the OH group. Right. Right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Here you have right this sugar is your formos sugar this is a mixture of sugars called as formos right so this reaction is important just remember an exception case where aldehyde that does not contain alpha alpha hydrogen will undergo aldol condensation right so this reaction is basically an aldol condensation Right. Now, now we will look into one reaction when formalin is treated with phenol in presence of dilute acid or alkali. Right. So when here also you you can get a polymer. So HCHO we have done this reaction in uh, phenol while doing phenol also. Right. When it reacts with phenol in presence of dilute acid or an alkali right it will form ortho and para isomers right this is your ortho and this is your para ortho hydroxy benzyl alcohol para hydroxy benzyl alcohol right I hope this is clear. Now, if you take formaldehyde is in, in excess, right? In the same reaction, if you take formaldehyde in excess, right, then it will form a polymer, a cross-linked polymer known as bakelite. If formaldehyde is in excess, right, a cross-linked polymer will get formed. For this reaction, you can check uh, the playlist on ph phenol, right? There I have shown you how exactly the bakelite gets formed. Cross-linked polymer. A cross-linked polymer. Bakelite gets formed. Right? I hope this is clear. Right. If this is not in excess, you get these two ortho para products. Now there are certain uses of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is a disinfectant and a germicide. It is used to kill germs. Right. Since it's a disinfectant and a, and a germicide, right. So it is used to sterilize uh, medical uh, things, medical equipments. Right. 
medical uh, equipments uh, mainly we call it as surgical instruments so these are used to formaldehyde is used to sterilize surgical instruments what are surgical instruments instruments that are used by doctors while doing surgery right so before they go for surgery they need to make sure that the instruments are clean right so that a patient may not catch infection from the infected instruments right so they sterilize surgical instruments with formaldehyde right second is if you remember formaldehyde hcho will react with ammonia to give you a compound called as eurotropine like this eurotropine which is formed from formaldehyde is used in medicines right and some other important uses is like it is used in leather industry for tanning hides right and like uh, we discussed before we discussed this reaction this is used to make polymer formaldehyde is used to make polymer bake light it is used to make this polymer bake light right so these are some of its important uses just remember all these reactions just know what are the differences between these right and this important reaction which is aldol condensation given by formaldehyde and this reaction of formaldehyde with phenol when formaldehyde is in excess a polymer called bakelite will get formed which is a cross linked polymer right and these are some of its uses thanks